Welcome back. The AARP has conducted several surveys that find older adults want to remain in their current homes and communities for as long as possible. But many houses and apartments don't meet the needs of older residents or people with disabilities. But new developments in our local communities could help provide additional housing choices for older adults. AARP's Marguerite Rowe and Cliff Clawson from the Habitat for Humanity, they're both here with some tips and resources to help make your stay at home safer and more livable, because that's really, really important. Absolutely. So, uh, Marguerite, I'll first question to you. There were some important developments this past legislative session that could help in providing more housing uh, options and more choices for older adults. Let's talk about that. Yeah, uh, happy to be here again. Of course. And uh, wanting to talk a little bit about affordable housing options, because here's what we know. Yeah. We know that about 80% of older adults actually want to remain in their homes as they age. Mm -hmm. and obviously being on fixed incomes, it's important to have affordable options. So one of the things that ARP was supporting this past legislative session was a bill around accessory dwelling units. These are, uh, they're larger than tiny homes. Mm -hmm. uh, they can be attached or detached, but they're places for older adults as you think about whether or not you want to downside and you want to be, say, closer mm -hmm. to your family. Right. You could live closer to your family. Yeah. Um, you could also have caregivers themselves live in the ADUs, or for older adults who have um, property, it may also be another source of income by having an ADU on their property. And so this legislation is making it easier for zoning and yes. building of these. Absolutely, absolutely. So Cliff, my next question to you is, we were talking before uh, we, we came on TV here about middle housing legislation. What is that and where? what is the need for that and why don't we have enough of it? Absolutely, uh, so the legislation enables um, different uh, middle housing types like duplexes, fourplexes, cottage homes uh, to be built in many of our uh, communities, particularly areas that have are uh, zoned for single family residences throughout the state. Mm -hmm. And because of the lack of those denser and more affordable housing types, that we're now seeing a uh, scarcity of homes, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. particularly for people who want to live near their, um, near, live near their families, yeah. for seniors to be able to age in place, for young people to be able to maybe have first-time um, home ownership opportunities at a more affordable rate than we're seeing now in the market. So what this legislation does is now it allows for more of those housing types to be built. Effectively uh, cuts through a lot of the barriers um, through that have been in, put in place through um, not great zoning policies in order to allow for um, again for families to basically be together and for seniors to be able to age in place. And the bottom line is is that we're growing as a society and yeah. things are more expensive and Absolutely. we need to come up with different ideas, alternative plans. So I, I'm really glad to hear this. Marguerite, I have to ask you, so the other, my grandmother was staying with me for about a month and she was at my house, tripped over some of my children's toys and almost fell down the stairs and my heart literally fell out of my chest. She did not think, the good Lord, <laughs> but people need to start considering the safety in their homes, right? If they want to stay in them longer? Absolutely. And that's why AARP actually has a tool called HomeFit. And this program offers a hundred different tools and tips for how to make your home safer. Mm -hmm. So it might be things, um, and there are some low cost, no cost options, like making sure that light bulbs are at a higher wattage right. so that older adults can read more easily. It might include things like uh, making sure those area rugs are mm. secure. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into my mom's home and those doormats yep. that get old and they, and they suddenly they're slip. tripping hazards, they're the worst. Mm. That is a great resource Absolutely. and we were just looking at that on the screen. Before I let you go, Cliff, I have one oh, more yeah. question for you. Habitat for Humanity, such an incredible organization. The things that you've done are, are just the overall wonderful. But I know that there's a lot that you can do to help people. How, what are some of the eligibility requirements to request help from Habitat for Humanity? Absolutely, first of all, um, I have to apologize because I didn't say thank you for allowing me on the show. I'm a longtime fan, so oh, this is all surreal. Oh my goodness. 
Um, it is our pleasure, honestly. Uh, well, so when it comes to Habitat for Humanity, we have a great repair, uh, home repair program uh, for minor repairs, things like handrails, guardrails, uh, installing uh, ramps and helping repair stairs. It's only a $50 uh, fee for those minor repairs. And then for um, critical repairs, things like uh, repairs to roofs or mm -hmm. addressing water mm -hmm. damage or things that are critical to structure of the home, that there is a um, there is a relatively inexpensive um, home loan uh, program that is uh, in place as well as uh, other assistance available to qualifying homes. And oh my goodness. In fact, uh, you can just go to our website, uh, well, either habitatskc.org or more specifically byhabitat.org to uh, see all the eligibility requirements. But, Thank you yeah. so much. Honestly, yeah. so many wonderful things. I'm so glad to have you here. Every time I learn so much and we are all so grateful. And by the way, for more information from AARP and Habitat for Humanity, it's all available at the links you see on your screen right now. AARP also uh, offers that free home fit guide that you saw on the screen that Marguerite was talking about. The guide is free at aarp.org slash caregiverswa. So go check that out.